Hey everyone, it's Peek. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video. So today I'm going to be talking about the question on a lot of people's minds, I think, and that is if Pokemon Unite is paid to win or not. Now, the answer is no, but there is a but attached, unfortunately. I think there are some things that uh, some people would just want to be aware of before going in. Now, at the end of the day, like, if you're a better player, if your team plays better, you're going to win. It doesn't matter what kind of items you use or not, but I will tell you guys that there are items in this game and that they do take a long time to level up. They take a lot of resources, a lot of commitment to playing the game, um, but at the same time, those resources to level up items can also be purchased with gems, the premium currency. Um, now, that is something I think everyone should be aware of. I don't think... Uh, Teamy's hiding it. It's you can buy them in the shop for either gems or um, tickets that you earn through gameplay. Um, but it's just it's just you know something you should be aware of and something you should consider um, when thinking about the system. Um, outside of the item system, there's really nothing pay to win about it. Um, besides, I mean, I guess if you consider like being able to play all the Pokemon at once and purchase them all at the start of the game. If you count that as pay to win, then sure. I mean, I, I don't think that's pay to win because if that's the case, League of Legends is pay to win, uh, which, you know, clearly it's not. It's the biggest uh, eSport in the world. <laughs> so it's uh, it's just not. So, I mean, yeah, you can buy champions early, but uh, you get enough coins and you get enough free champions in this game, especially with the weekly rotation of free, ch free uh, Pokemon. Excuse me, I keep saying champions. Uh, free Pokemon to play throughout the uh, months and weeks that, you know, it really doesn't make a difference. You'll be able to play any Pokemon you want eventually. You'll be able to buy them all, and uh, it's not going to be a problem. They're not making it impossible for you to grind up that currency. However, just wanted to kind of just note to people that uh, the item system is out there. So essentially how it works is that you have items that you can equip. You can equip three items to your Pokemon before you go into battle. Um, they range from anywhere to extra damage, extra ability damage, extra health, extra defense, um, some attack speed stuff, things like that. Just like, and they're very, very, very minimal um, differences. And those minimal differences can be <laughs> increased to be a little bit less minimal, but still even like fully upgraded items are pretty minimal uh, differences but they can be upgraded and the only way to upgrade them is using uh, these upgrade tokens which uh, are these little purple coins that you can buy with um, these like voucher these purple like orange looking voucher ticket things uh, that you're seeing as well as um, gems which are the premium currency of the game which you can buy with real money um, and those at least in the Japanese beta now, of course, this is all subject to change um, But in the Japanese beta those were the only two options to buy these upgrade coins Now I will say as a player that played the Canadian beta um, without you know divulging too much information I will say that you were able to buy these tokens to upgrade your items with just coins that you earn from matches um, so not really sure how that's going to work with full release. Obviously this video is It's it's just a quick little mention to anyone wondering about the game um, You can see that you can buy items here for uh, Coins as well as the little tickets the same tickets that you spend on um, The upgrade coins which are these little purple coins right there that I just moused over <laughs> um, That's what they look like and that's what you'll be using to upgrade your items. So items do upgrade to level 30 um, And the bonuses, I mean they just scale up very slowly over time as you upgrade them um, Nothing else in the game is gives you any sort of advantage that you can buy with your currency um, all the stuff that I'm going through right now is, you know, just like clothes, basically. <laughs> so that's basically it, honestly. And like, that's that's really all you can that's really all you can buy in terms of the game. There are some like little boosters here for double XP, double coins, uh, but your coins are limited each week anyway. So I imagine at least at the start of the game, like most people who are going to be playing a lot, aren't really going to need a double coin booster. They're already going to very easily meet that uh, 2,000 coin limit per week. Uh, 2100 coin limit per week so that's about it in terms of like things you can buy obviously there's 
There's some really nice skins in the game and definitely some more to come. There have been some really cool leaks. And as soon as we get more news on those, like you'll, you'll be the first one to know from this channel. Don't worry. Um, so definitely going to be sharing those with you guys as they come out. But yeah, like in terms of whether the game is pay to win or not, I'm, I'm going to say no. It's, it's just not like it's a, it's, it's made to be competitive. It's balanced. There's no Pokemon that you're like buying with currency that are locked behind currency only or anything like that. Like some other games like mobile legends. It's just, it's just not the case, man. So no sort of like real advantage can be bought here. Um, just definitely be aware of the item system and that it's a thing. And you know, going into that knowing that you'll be able to level up your items normally just through normal gameplay. I, I mean, for me, that's enough. I don't plan on spending spending any gems to do so. Like, the, the, the things that I'll have, the things that I'll be able to get over time are definitely, like, more than, more than going to be plenty uh, to be able to win those games, you know? So, uh, we're, pretty, we're pretty confident. Pretty confident in that. So, just want to give you guys a little heads up on that uh, in case anyone's wondering. That's uh, that's kind of my take on the whole pay to win thing. Unite is definitely not pay to win. Could be there. There are about a million ways they could have ruined it. But I'm really happy to see that the monetization is really just cosmetic. It's outfits you buy for your character and sweet little skins for your Pokemon in the game. So that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like on the video. Let me know down below what you enjoyed most, what you're most excited for about the game. And until next time, I will see you later. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.